So this is my computer that I just built. I'm going to give you a rundown on what's in it and what it cost to build my new budget Intel PC. So this is what I had to pay for everything. A whopping $747. Nowadays, it's really not hard to spend that, even when using used components from eBay and other places. You will end up splitting out a lot of money. Now, I did save money in other places. I did use some older peripherals. I have this older Dell monitor, which was given to me because I needed the DVI slot for the graphics card. I did not have a DVI monitor. I had a VGA, and a, and that was really all I have is a VGA, which is uh, that port. That's VGA. That is DVI. This is an adapter for both. I don't recommend using them. They usually don't work, and they usually put a lot of stress on the plug. So I just try and stay away from these old things. Uh, 1990s Millennium Keyboard, see-through keys. It is a gel type, uh, like the membrane type. I really don't care mechanical or not. I am, I do gaming a little bit, not a big deal. This is not USB. This is the old, like, I guess, bus port type. Uh, all, all keys work on it. It's just missing one of the little legs. It's nice, though. USB, IBM mouse, does the trick. Does whatever I need it to up here. Now, let's move on to the actual PC. This sucker has a Thermaltake V200G case. It is the RGB edition. Uh, yeah, it's a V200... Oh, it's a TG RGB case. I stand corrected. The top fans are not included. It does come with a hardware bag, though, which is very nice. has instructions and the hardware, thumb screws, everything. Very nice, easy to clean uh, top. It's magnetic for up top. However, the bottom does slot in using tabs, but it's still this kind of like plasticky screen. Uh, looks great. I love it. We got a tempered glass side with a plexiglass front. And since this is the RGB edition, you do get all of these fans, and I believe it is the, called the controller for it inside. So that's really nice. Already comes with that. You have slots for your hard drives if you're using just the older mechanical type, I guess is what they're called. I don't know. I have a Hitachi 500 gig and a Seagate 250 gig, 7200 RPM in here. And they come with the little slot in trays, so you can stick it right in the tray and then slot it into your case. There's also room for, uh, I guess they're just SSDs in here as well. Plenty of room for a bigger power supply if you so needed one. You could easily fit a bigger one in here. Um, cable management's alright. There is a spot in the kind uh -huh. of here. You can stick all your cables. It's really tight back here for what I did, but that's just me. You could probably route better. So, now to get into the juicy details of what's inside of this thing. I'll start, I guess, t from bottom to top, since there's less down bottom than there is up top. So, as a power supply, I am using a uh, Thermaltake Smart RGB 600 watt power supply. On Newegg, the photos make it look like it's a, mon a modular or semi-modular. It is a non-modular uh, power supply. Do take that into consideration. You can change whether it's strobing or colors, what have you. Um, graphics card. Graphics card is an AMD, I believe it is a Radeon 580. I'm not sure if it's TI or whatever. I don't remember exactly. I got that from a friend for free. They usually sell for 130 That's why it was on the list of pricing. Just because I know you usually will not just have a friend give you a graphics card <laughs> that's at least half decent not common um, the motherboard that it rests on is a gigabyte Z270 XP SLI it is a uh, ultra durable series motherboard very nice motherboard offers a lot of options there is no um, factory VGA DVI port only HDMI so you will need a uh, graphics card unless you're using like using it on like a TV. That's the only real way. Other than that, that's the only thing I can say. So there was no factory just video output other than HDMI. 
I do love the little audio trace being glowing red. That is on the board from default. Really nice. I do love that. Um, moving on up, uh, the processor fan is a Cooler Master. Uh, I have the box here. I'll grab it. This is what I have for that fan. Really nice. I got it open box. Now, what open box means is somebody got this thing. Might not have been what they wanted. Might not. Might have gotten rid of the thing or what ha whatever have you. But what is inside was not used, usually. Do double check that when looking at a listing. So it wasn't used or it was just, they like literally they opened the box and that was it. I only paid $45 for this. This is usually $140 to $180. Do take that into account. Very nice fan. I love it. The fans for when, install, when you install it came with all its hardware, everything. You take the fans, you can untab them. So you can access the mounting screws, and then they just clip right back on. Perfect, nice, and easy. Was a little bit of confusion. It won't say exactly what socket type or whatever um, exactly. It says it on the side of the box, but it won't say it on the instructions. So since this is an Intel, I just went with what the Intel side, even though it didn't say exactly for this, I just went with it. By the way, this socket is an LGA 1151 6th and 7th gen processor socket. Um, the processor itself is an i5-7600K. K means you can overclock. Nothing means that it can't do that. And T just means it's a really low-grade version of that processor. Do take that into account. I did buy this used for $154. Make sure, and this is what I do when I read a listing, because if for whatever reason it does not work, you can get your money back through eBay. Always read your description. I check for when it says, pulled from working PC. If it does not say pulled from working PC, I don't buy it. Because it could be used and not working. It's a computer part, so it falls under parts are not working. Right? That's my theory, at least. So I always double check that. Uh, the motherboard was 50 bucks. was used. Pulled from working PC. Love it. Um... I did buy some Vetru cheap case fans. They were 13 bucks for the set. Can't complain. They do the job. They're LED, not RGB. So they're whatever color you want it to be. I wanted my case to be purple inside. So they're purple. The RAM is... I believe I bought that brand new. And I bought it from Newegg. I don't buy RAM from eBay. I learned the hard way with these. That people will try and scam you all the time. You only save $10. Just buy it from Newegg. It's a lot nicer, and you run into less problems. Because I had to wait two weeks to get this because of my of the scammer on eBay, as opposed to just the... As opposed to I could have just waited only one and had it. But I had to wait. Literally, a, I had to wait, I think it was a full two weeks, or it was either a week or a full two weeks, before I could file the claim, and then it was... A, it had to have been just a week. Yeah, it was a week before I could follow a, file a claim on the money, and a week before I could get it from Newegg, before I could basically receive it from Newegg. It really kind of sucks when you're trying to put the computer together. Thankfully, I uh, did have some RAM laying around from a friend that did work for this, so I just used that in place. Not a big deal, it does the trick. Um, yeah. Love the computer, it runs great. I also uh, forgot about that. Uh, Crucial M.2, it is a uh, one terabyte SSD, I think it's a 3200 megahertz uh, M.2. Thing is great. It did cost me $104 for this. Um, well worth it. It doesn't just boost storage, it boosts install speeds and boot speeds. I'm not sure about the boot speeds, I think that's true. I know install though. My old laptop, which I upgraded from, a 2012 Hewlett Packard. It was an i5 inside. That thing sucked. It could not run. It could not do. It got hot while doing nothing. And it took an hour to install Gary's Mod Updates. That kind of sucks, you know? This thing was able to install and update three Steam games within a matter of maybe three minutes. As opposed to that full hour for one. Incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Now, I know this isn't a lot. This isn't very great for a 
lot of big PC builders. This is my realistic um, kind of PC, as I put it. This is realistic stuff. I wouldn't expect you to go all out buying like a brand new 3080. Like, it's, it's not entirely realistic for a lot of people. Uh, I know for people that are super into it, oh, hell yeah, they're going to go out there, they're going to buy it. I don't, that's them. But for somebody that just wants something that works and works well, this does the job. My temps are really, really low. My CPU temp, while not under load, is at 35 degrees Celsius, I think. Yeah. It's super cold inside. I can't complain. People do complain, like, wondering, oh, how does the air escape? There's an opening up under here. You see my little finger? Yeah, hi, my little finger's here. Air escapes out the bottom. As long as you don't have it on, like, a carpet, on, like, the floor, just, if anything, just put it, like, cut a piece of plywood or something and just stick it under the thing. It keeps it off the carpet so that it can actually breathe. That's the one big thing I do see that's a mistake that people make. Let the thing breathe. And as for graphics cards, try and stick them closer to the processor. If it's closer to the processor, it's usually quicker. One downside I will say for this case, there is nowhere for a CD drive or DVD drive, whatever, to go. You cannot, there's no place in the case for it. If you're doing something like you're installing drivers or something from a disc, pop your side off, put your, uh, put a, uh, SATA underneath there, put a SATA there, grab a, uh, power, SATA power, just hook it up that way for the time being. Not hard. Works good. Mm, cable management's alright. I struggled with that power plug up there in that corner. Not many access points to it other than there, and it really is tough when the power supply is really, really short. This one was really, really short. Plus, I also had the the CPU fan installed, which made it all the more difficult to try and get it on. Not fun. It did eventually get to go on, but it was really, really annoying to get it up there. Is support for a radiator in here if you do go for liquid cool or water cool. I could have gotten like a $50 uh, liquid cool system, fully sealed. Would have been really nice, but I chose to go with this monster of a fan. Do take into consideration, I think the max fan height was 160 millimeters. This is 166.5, and I managed to snake away with it. Still not recommended to go above that amount, but I managed to get away with it because I didn't really check. Uh, thankfully, it fit. So, otherwise, this thing works great. Um, I have the audio system off, which is an old Logitech system. Works good for what I need, not really caring. Um, yeah, for like Gary's mod, I don't think I installed Gary's mod yet, I don't know. Trying to launch. Second. I don't think I've opened Gary's mod yet, so we'll see what it does. Yeah, so. It's installing all of my, uh. All of my mods and stuff. Which is doing so really, really quickly. A lot of the small ones, it'll just blow through. So I'm going to assume that this would probably be done in like four or five minutes. Easy. Which is really nice for me who had to, who would never see the end of this menu. I never saw this menu disappear. Ever. So. That's part of the nice side of things. This computer looks awesome in the dark. Especially since if you see that honeycomb, it just throws the light all over the walls. Especially when it's in like that breathe setting. It just throws light everywhere. The case also does have its own little um, interface up here. Really, really nice. That kind of machined button everyone loves. Come on, focus, man. It's got a machined kind of face to it. Like the switch, all the ports, USB 3.0, whatever you have. All really, really nice. Yep, see, I told you. Gone, already done. Great computer. I really can't complain so far. All the problems I've had were just 
simply based off of stupid things that happened. Like, I couldn't get audio. For whatever reason, BIOS had it disabled. Uh, couldn't get the drivers to install because there was no internet driver installed. If you buy it new and you have the CD, you don't run into this. But if you do have this problem, then you gotta get the, uh, what do you call it? You gotta get a, uh, internet adapter, which just plugs into one of the smaller slots. It's kind of covered, but you can see it below those capacitors. You really can't see it, but right below the capacitors, there's a little tiny slots. That's where an internet adapter fits. You get one with no drivers needed, and you just plug Ethernet in, and you can do your drivers. It's stupid easy. Um, it just needs the internet to do it. Very, very nice. It run I have this running Windows 10, of course, but it is great. It looks great. I've only gotten compliments from it, and it just goes to show that you don't need the best of stuff to do what you want to do. And, yeah, I mean, where did the price sheet at? So there you go, you can fully see the price sheet and the amount that came out. I think I covered pretty much everything. I already had the drive, so I didn't include that in cost. But yeah. That's how my, much my PC costs. And that's how much it took to build it. Do your research before buying different things, you know, basic stuff that you'll hear anywhere. But, yeah, until next time, this is my computer build.